Inside of my ATM group, there's people posting all day, every day. Those ATM groups are for the purpose of everyone adding their prospects, tagging them in the content that's gonna give them the information to make a buying decision. So everybody is adding people to the group, so everybody should be helping with creating conversation inside those groups, creating engagement. That's the purpose of the group. You should really find different ways to strategically create that conversation, to get people excited to be a part of the group, making it a big deal. The reason I'm adding people to an ATM group is so they can learn more about the products in the business. But if that's all that's in the group and there's no recognition, there's no excitement, right? There's no comments on any of the videos or the posts, it's a lot harder to get the excitement built up in the group. So as the group grows, you can share things in the group and create more engagement. Like for instance, you could have uh, you know, questions that you ask inside the group, like what's your favorite product and why? Why did you decide to start a home-based business? If you were to get started, how much income would you like to make on a part-time basis? Like start coming up with simple conversations, simple questions to get conversation initiated inside of that group. You could do live videos. You could do interviews, like maybe you go live once a week. Maybe you go live once a month. Like every week we do Money Monday inside of our, our generic our generic group, right? Uh, inside of our ATM groups, you know, we'll have special broadcasts and giveaways. Just giving people an excuse to be inside the group, be paying attention to the group, right? You can hear different perspectives that are relatable to your prospects that will close more business, right? Like maybe you do a Zoom with three or four top producers from the previous month, giving them recognition, asking them their story. Recently promoted teammates is always a good idea. Recognizing and acknowledging people that are plugged in, that are having success, that are getting results, maybe on the products, maybe on the business. You could share some before and afters inside of your ATM groups, give shout outs inside of your groups, uh, recognizing success stories. You wanna identify different types of people that are winning on your team, that are winning in your business and highlight them. Why? Because someone else can relate to their story. The busy business owner, the stay at home mom, the nurse, the school teacher, the firefighter that's having success. Finding and identifying people that are winning in your company, winning on your products, finding ways to highlight and recognize those individuals, all right? Asking interesting questions. You could ask, what's your favorite part about ABC Company? What's the main reason you got started on this product? What's your favorite product and why? What have you accomplished outside of income? What's been the biggest impact outside of the income you've earned with this company? And people will start sharing, answering the question, but then you'll see other members tagging their their prospects in the comments because they're like, oh my gosh, this is good stuff. Like I want my prospects to see this information. Do you get it? So I really want you to start thinking outside the box, right? Thinking of ways to create in engagement, create conversation, encourage testimonials, recognition, teach and encourage your team to share testimonials and do lots of recognition because you want to recognize, write this down, you want to recognize what you want repeated. So the reason I'm always recognizing people that are recruiting, I'm recognizing people that are ATMing their face off. And I do this in my team Facebook group as well. I'm recognizing people that are working hard, people that are doing group chats. Why? Because I want them to continue to do the thing that they're doing and I'm recognizing because it's gonna help them get the results they desire, but more importantly, it's gonna encourage and inspire other people on the team to do the same thing. And the other thing, like I mentioned, is run some campaigns, challenges, all right? You could do a five-day video challenge, a seven-day book challenge, a 10-day personal development challenge, you know, no sugar, drink water, exercising twice a day for seven days. Whatever you want to do with your team, maybe get together with your leaders. You could give away coaching calls, product giveaways, right? Cash giveaways. You could give away uh, Starbucks gift cards, whatever. It doesn't need to be super expensive. Sometimes y'all overthink campaigns and contests. You want to find strategic ways to get people to take action. So there's different ideas, different things you can do 
to create conversation, to get the engagement going, to get people excited to be a part of the group. It also does depend on the purpose of the group, right? A lot of groups, the purpose is for exposing your, your prospects to the products. Some groups have the purpose of exposing people to the business so people can learn more about the business and making money. There's different types of, of people that get involved in, in network marketing. There's the unmotivated, there's the motivatable, meaning you could motivate them. There's the motivated, and then there's the motivators. So which one are you? Drop into the comments and let me know. Hopefully you're not unmotivated, but maybe you're motivatable, you're motivated, or you're a motivator. You have to become a motivator if you wanna make the big bucks. You have to find ways to communicate with the part-time spare timer. You gotta find ways to communicate with the shark, the urchin, the whale. You gotta find ways to communicate with older folks, younger folks on your team. You gotta find ways to communicate with the product focused individuals, the business builders, the recruiters, the ones that wanna run and make millions and the ones that wanna crawl and make hardly anything. They just wanna be a part of something. You have to find ways to inspire, encourage activity, inspire activity. You have to find ways to uh, get them to take little baby steps to help them create results. 